What's up, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. As stated in my Christmas video a while back, I was going retro at some point in this new year. At least one game back in GTA series. Notice this video is not meant for children. In GTA 4, Nico arrives in Liberty City aboard the Platypus and is picked up by his cousin Roman. Your first mission is to drive your drunk cousin back to his roach-infested apartment. The controls on GTA 4 are a little different than GTA 5 and the saving is different. So you need to account for that fact when finding weapons. Once you are arrested by cops, you lose everything. So if you plan on stocking up on weapons the way I am about to show you, you have to go back to Roman's apartment to save. Now that Nico is established in Roman's apartment, you have to find some weapons. There are several weapons and armor around the area of Roman's apartment. If you take an immediate right and run toward the Coney Island looking place and by this go-kart track, there is a handgun. Now that you have the handgun, you can go back toward Roman's apartment and there is a baseball bat in an alley across the street. I'm going to cut immediately to that to show you. Standing across from Nico's apartment, in the back alley here, you can see the glowing baseball bat. The baseball bat is really handy for hand-to-hand -hand combat and for mugging people. Now, there is body armor available, but it is kind of difficult to get to. Right up there on the catwalk in front of a billboard, the body armor rests. In order to get to it, it really sucks. So I'm going to cut to the area you need to get to and explain how you can get that body armor. In order to get the body armor in front of Nico's or Roman's apartment, you have to actually go up to the on-ramp here and right here on the map. And it's not busy because the bridge is closed. So at this point, you're not going to get run over. And you've got to jump up and onto the roofs of the building nearby and run across the building roofs until you get to the area where the sign is where the body armor is. And once you stand up against the wall here, you can kind of see the body armor a little bit right there, that red thing. Now, you got to jump up and over this without so much as even bumping the movement controller. And if you do it right, you'll land on the armor. Otherwise, you just kind of fall and hurt yourself. Again, this is really difficult to get. There's a better way to get some body armor. And I'll show you where. But you're going to need a vehicle and why not just take this vehicle? Now, hold on, let me get rid of this guy hanging on here. Okay, so on the map here, I'm going to show you that zoom in here. And right here at this L shape area on the road is where you can get body armor. So now let me get rid of this dude. Okay, now I'm going to cut over to where 
the body armor is located. Now that you've arrived, go over to this dumpster and climb up. You can see the body armor in the bed of that pickup truck. Just jump over the wall and you can grab the body armor easy peasy. You won't get hurt. And now I'm going to show you on the map another really great weapon to get. And it's after you get the body armor, you got to go all the way up in this area in the body armor. You go all the way up to the airport parking garage where there is a submachine gun. After you've gotten into the parking garage and you get to the top, right here you can see the submachine gun. Right there. And again, it's a nice weapon to have in your arsenal. Once you got the submachine gun, all these weapons spawn once you leave the area. And if you're here at the top, why not give the jump a shot from the airport roof or airport parking roof? Another weapon to get, it's actually a pump shotgun, and it's right over here in this area, kind of near the airport, and it's really kind of difficult to get to if you follow the map instructions. So what I'm going to do is place a waypoint in this general area here, and just drive toward it. Okay, around here is the pump shotgun somewhere. Oh, okay. It's right by this pillar. And again, it's a really neat weapon to have. And then after that, not too far from here, and just across the street is a combat pistol. I'm just going to cut to that area where the combat pistol is. Now, the combat pistol is located in this area where there's like oil storage and it's kind of around this area. Again, I'm going to cut to where that is located. Once you are in the oil storage tank facility, there's this ladder between the tanks that leads to a catwalk, which is between eight or so storage tanks you get up to the top of the catwalk and that is where a combat pistol is located the combat pistol replaces your other pistol and you have to pick it up 
Now, unfortunately, this is one of the things I didn't like about GTA 4. You couldn't carry multiple weapons. Like, you couldn't carry a combat pistol and a regular pistol. But once you've gotten the pistol, there is... It's a much more powerful weapon, and you get to keep the ammo. Now, I'm going to take you to an area where there is a health recharge. So, again, I'm going to do another cut and let Nico climb to the ground, whatever. Again, I'm going to just do a nice cut. Okay, in this area, not too far from the storage tanks, is a health regenerating or basically medipack and I'm going to show you where that is. Once you get into this alleyway behind a bunch of buildings and you run toward this area and it's actually in an alcove right near a pallet jack. So if you can get to this area, it's kind of hard to see, but there is this health pack here, and that brings you up to full health. Now I'm going to show you, going back to right here, it's right next to the alley, if you can see. Now I'm going to go back to the airport and show you that the submachine gun has regenerated, so got to steal a car. Now that Nico has a nice new vehicle, I'm going to cut back to the airport parking lot and show you that the submachine gun has regenerated. As you can see, the submachine gun is back. Really, all you have to do is leave the area. And then when you come back, you can pick up the weapon and you will have more ammo. Once you have more ammo, Naturally, it's just a more effective weapon. Now, you can leave the area in the same vehicle you have. To tell you the truth, I'm more of a truck guy, so I'm going to steal this nice-looking truck. And once you have everything, you got to drive carefully and get back to Roman's apartment to save. There is no quick save like Grand Theft Auto V, which kind of sucks. But... Hey, you know, you got to get there. So I'm going to cut back and I'm going to show you how to make a little extra money as well in Grand Theft Auto 4. After you've saved at Roman's apartment, you can go out, walk around and, well, use the baseball bat to mug some people. And unfortunately, if you're flailing around, the other guy's going to get a chance to smack you. Well, you can use the actual aiming, targeting system to target the guy with the baseball bat, and there you go. You can bash him and take his money. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing a little retro GTA 4 video. As always, thanks for stopping by.